Hi everyone, my name is Manindra. So I am the admin of Biosense YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain about candidiasis, which is a fungal infection in detail. I am going to explain about the types of the candidiasis disease and also the symptoms and also the treatment which will be given for the person who is infected with candidiasis. So please watch this video till the end so that you can understand candidiasis in detail. So candidiasis, it is a fungal infection which is caused by a yeast called as candida. So we all of us know that yeast is a fungus. So this yeast fungus which will cause the infection called as candidiasis is called candida so that yeast which causes the disease candidiasis is called candida okay so this candida is responsible for causing the disease called as candidiasis so basically this candidiasis infection it occurs internally as well as externally in your body if you see in the case of externally this candida it leaves on the skin and it affects the cutaneous layer of the skin Coming to the internally of your body, this candida is present in mouth, throat, gut and vagina and it will infect all of these parts which are present in your body. In the case of woman, vagina can be included along with mouth, throat and gut. Coming to the men, only mouth, throat, gut as well as the skin also will be infected but not vagina because vagina is a female reproductive organ as we all of us know that. So coming to this candidiasis infection, so based upon this internal infection as well as the external infections in your body, this candidiasis, it is classified further into three types of infections. Let's say, vaginal yeast infection, cutaneous candidiasis, oral thrush, which is also called as mouth thrush. And there are certain other names which are also given for these infections. Coming to the first one, vaginal yeast infection, it is called as candidal vulvovaginitis. The name itself indicates that this infection can be, uh, it occurs in the vagina, which is a female reproductive organ. It is a cutaneous candidiasis coming to the second one, which occurs in the, you know, cutaneous layer on the skin. Coming to the third one, oral thrush, which is a mouth thrush. As uh, this disease occurs in the mouth region, hence it is called as oral candidiasis. Right, and even uh, this oral candidiasis also includes the symptoms which will get affected in the throat region also. Okay, so this is just the introduction which I wanted to give you regarding this candidiasis infection. Now coming to the first one, vaginal yeast infection. As I have said to you, there are three types, right? So we are going to discuss about the first one, which is vaginal yeast infection. It is also called as candidal vulva vaginitis, which I have previously said to you, right? And basically, this is the infection which is caused in the vagina, which is a female reproductive organ in females. This is also I have said you previously, right? So, what are the causes uh, which causes the disease called as vaginal candidiasis or as this vaginal yeast infection? Let us have a look about it. Coming to the first one, antibiotics. So, before entering into this topic, what I wanted to say you is that there are good bacteria which is present in our body in order to keep your body healthy or uh, you know protect your body so for example let's say lactobacillus it is a good bacteria right so what does this good bacteria will do in your body basically it will protect your body from the harmful microorganisms which will enter into your body from the external environment right so once this kind of harmful microorganisms will enter into your body from the external environment then this good bacteria will fight against with it and will kill those harmful microorganisms but if you are going to use antibiotics heavy usage of antibiotics then this good bacteria for example which i have said you lactobacillus all of this kind of good bacteria will be killed if all of this kind of good bacteria will be killed then there will be no defense mechanism which occurs in order to kill the harmful microorganisms which will enter into your body from the external environment right so heavy usage of antibiotics will lead to it this is called as vaginal candidiasis okay so coming to the second cause douches and vaginal sprays so basically women women's all of these women's in our world will use vaginal sprays certain type of there are many different type of vaginal sprays which are available in the market but i don't want to expose their names because of the copyright issues of youtube so that's the reason i don't want to expose their names so there are certain type of vaginal sprays which are available in the market and these will be used by the woman 
during the of the after the periods or you know certain type of things one woman problems right so they will use these vaginal sprays which are chemical which are made up of chemicals so even this kind of sprays will also cause this vaginal yeast infections without any doubt so now coming to the third one a weakened immune system so let's say we know that our spleen will produce white blood cells that's nothing but antibodies which will be produced in order to protect your body and it will it will process the defense mechanism right so now let us say uh, if candida i mean i have already said you candida is a yeast fungal you know it is a yeast fungus right so once let us consider this yeast fungus as an antigen so this antigen i mean this yeast fungus will enter into your body so immediately if your immune system is strong then certain type of antibodies will be released against this yeast fungus and it will kill that yeast fungus that antibodies will be will kill that yeast fungus but in the case if your immune system is completely weak then that fungus will enter into your body in the form of antigens then there are no antibodies which will be released because your immune system is very weak as your immune system is very weak as the antibodies are not released against to this yeast fungus then what will happen then there is no doubt that woman or as you know or let's say the patient will lead to a disease called as vaginal candidiasis and another is diabetes which is to say more i don't want to say more about diabetes because you people might know about it where if sugar levels uh, are are not in our control in the blood then it causes a disease called as vaginal candidiasis when woman not only in woman it can also be done in the men okay so this is about a vaginal yeast infection which is also called as vaginal candidiasis or else it is also called as candidal vulva vaginitis so now let us see the symptoms uh, for a patient who is infected with this vaginal yeast infection let us have a look about it so now coming to the symptoms of vaginal yeast infection itchiness and discomfort at vagina can symptom redness can symptom redness and swelling of the vagina coming to the third pain and burning when you pee i mean especially in the women so pain during sex during uh, you know when you are having sex you will feel severe type of pain because of this and another is a thick white odorless discharge of you know a paste like thing will be released from your vagina right if you are going to observe it then it means that you are infected with this vaginal candidiasis infection so now what is the treatment if a patient is infected with this vaginal candidiasis there are certain type of antifungal medicines which are available in the market uh, these are the certain type of creams so you need to apply these creams in your onto your you know surface of your vagina so that it will prevent uh, not prevent is candida or this candidiasis disease so now let us discuss about cutaneous candidiasis previously itself i have said you cutaneous candidiasis is a disease which occurs on the surface of the surface of your body surface of your body in the sense uh skin nails because cutaneous layer is present in the skin hence uh, this disease is named as cutaneous candidiasis so what are the causes which are mainly present behind this candidiasis disease this cutaneous candidiasis being in warm weather conditions tight clothing i mean like if you are wearing tight jeans all of these things okay tight clothing a uh, poor hygiene if you are not going to maintain your hygiene properly then you know washing your face if you are not going to wash your face or else if you are not going to clean your body parts properly then it will leads to cutaneous candidiasis infrequent undergarment changes like if you are not going to change your underwear or else if you are going to use it for 4 to 5 days continuously then it will lead to cutaneous candidiasis obesity being very very fat okay so the use of antibiotics that will kill harmless bacteria so i have said you right harmless bacteria is nothing but uh, th these are the good bacteria which will not cause any harm to your body for example which i have said you previously lactobacillus right if you are going to use antibiotics in heavy do heavy dosages then what will happen it will kill this good bacteria or as harmless bacteria so if you are going to keep this harmless bacteria then what will happen you are going to uh, you are going to uh, make a grand entry to this candida so that the candida will be under control right so to prevent that you should not uh, use antibiotics in heavy dosages okay so the use of corticosteroids or other medications that affects the immune system so uh, one of the basic thing which you people have to remember is that if you are going to use steroids uh, in order to in order to survival of your uh, body then it will definitely affect the immune system this is very important to remember 
your uh, you know antibiotics will be completely damaged so as your antibodies are damaged then you will be exposed to each and every kind of disease which will be uh, infected for you from the external environment right so you should not use corticosteroids not only cortico any type of steroids which will be injected for you, you should you need to reject it okay so that it will not affect your immune system if your immune system is infected by using this corticosteroids and other steroids then it will lead to cutaneous candidiasis and coming to the next cause a weakened immune system as a result of diabetes pregnancy or any other medical conditions right uh, if your immune system is very weak this is very important to remember if your immune system is very weak then uh, for example this kind of fungal infection is uh, you know fungus is entered into your body in the form of antigens then no other antibodies will be released against to it in order to fight with that antigen fight with that fungus so what will happen then it will lead to or it will be exposed your body will be exposed to cutaneous candidiasis right so coming to the next one incomplete drying of damp or wet skin so if you are going to take a bath and if you are not going to clean your body parts properly and if you are leaving it like that itself uh, you know like water molecules which are present on your body if you are going to leave it like that then uh, a small type of fungus like material will be uh, will be accumulated on your uh, particular body part which you have not cleaned it properly uh, after your bath and then also that person will lead to cutaneous candidiasis so this is about cutaneous candidiasis and let us see what are the symptoms of a patient who is infected with this cutaneous candidiasis so let us have a look about it so coming to the first one ringworm coming to the second one hives coming to the third one herbs and coming to the fourth diabetes related skin problems coming to the fifth contact dermatitis this is very very dangerous psoriasis the psoriasis it will highly affect your a skull region i mean the outer region of your skull if outer region of your skull is infected with this fungus i mean the psoriasis then you cannot comb your hair properly because uh, a severe pain you can feel a severe pain or else you cannot uh, you know uh, scratch your uh, head also so this will be there will be many problem many problems which you are going to face if you are infected with the psoriasis this is very important to remember okay it causes severe pain if you are going to do anything on your head on your skull actually okay so basically these are the symptoms and what is the treatment which will be given if a person is infected with this cutaneous candidiasis there are certain type of topical antifungal agents like uh, which will be used in the form of creams which will be applied on that particular uh, area in order to cure yourself from this infection which is cutaneous candidiasis for example which i have shown you like ni nystatin so this nystatin uh, you know it is a cream which will be available in the market so uh, one more important thing which I, have, which I have to tell you is that don't use this kind of medicines you need to consult a doctor you need to consult a doctor so once if you need to once if you are going to consult a doctor then he will understand your pain and your infections properly and he will give appropriate medicines for it uh, so that you, are, you can go to pharmacy and get the medicines so these are the medicines which i have shown you are just a small examples don't directly use this without consulting doctor okay so these are the uh, example uh, these are the certain type of medic medications you can, people can take if you are infected with this uh, cutaneous candidiasis disease and another uh, treatment which you can take is one time oral therapy like there are certain type of capsules or tablets which are available in the market you can take it orally okay hence it is called as one time oral therapy so uh, the one of the some of the two examples which i have took in order to cure this disease uh, are like let's say fulcanazole which is 150 mg and this is uh, you know this is uh, by many be used by many patients and itraconazole this is 600 mg which will be used by uh, only less less people okay but if you are going to consult a doctor then he will give you a perfect prescription okay so now coming to the third type of fungal infection of candidiasis which is oral thrush right and the other name which is given for it is for it is oral candidiasis right and it is caused by a fungus called as mouth candida albicans okay so what are the causes uh, of this oral thrush or oral candidiasis nothing but low immunity levels so one of the most important and uh, general point i wanted to say you people is that this candidiasis disease can occur in your body only if your immune immunity levels are completely weak 
or else if your immune system is completely weak where you immune it very you know what uh, a certain type of antibodies cannot be released by your immune system which means that it indicates your immune power is really very weak so that you can be exposed not only to this disease each and every kind of disease right so we need to make sure that our immunity levels are very good right so as your immunity levels are very weak then certain type of microorganisms will enter into your body which are very harmful and it will cause several type of diseases including this oral thrush also right and coming to the another cause diabetes so previously also i have said you diabetes is also one of the reason in order to cause this disease called as oral thrush so now let us see what are the symptoms of this oral thrush so white patches on the inner cheeks tongue roof of the mouth and throat as you can see in the picture so there will be white patches which you can see right uh, now coming to the second symptom you can feel pain while eating or swallowing okay so now coming to the third one you will uh, never sense taste that is nothing but loss of taste coming to the fourth cotton like feeling in the mouth for example if you are going to eat a pineapple uh, you will feel good once you once you eat pineapple after eating pineapple then what will happen you will feel certain type of sensation in your mouth right like cotton like feeling in the mouth this is a certain type of sensation which you can feel so this is about three types of fungal infections of candidiasis which occurs in every human body okay so one of the main reason is that low immune power if you are going to maintain good immune power with good uh, you know intake of food then it doesn't uh, disturb your immunity levels and you are not going to be infected with any type of fungal infections right so this is what i wanted to share my this candidiasis disease candidiasis disease so uh, do you want this ppt worksheet till now what i've explained you so you need to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon and if you want this link there will be a link which i provided in the description box so click on that link so if you are going to click on that link uh, then you need to send a request to me so that i will accept request for you and i will send this ppt for you and this is absolutely for free i am not going to charge any money for it okay so thank you take care bye